Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Political Machine 2016, where in the last video, our candidate for the Republican Party, Donald Trump, started his campaign, started actually going around and doing things, and it turned out quite well. He is at a 50% of the popular vote versus a 42% for Hillary Clinton as of right now. There are a few states that we really need to watch. Florida is one. Pennsylvania is one. And New York, surprisingly enough, is one. We're going to want to fight heavily in New York. Heavily, heavily, heavily. How much do we have? We have five. I want to get another Intimidator here as soon as possible. But I can't right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad about fighting ISIS. It's a battleground state. What was it? Oh my god. Like half the fucking world. And I'm going to get an advertisement guru here. Just so I can not pay so much. You have rested so much that you've reached your max. Of course, because I actually haven't been doing a whole lot. Let's strike hard in Illinois. I'm building a campaign headquarters there. And upgrading that bitch will probably be a smart idea. We'll fundraise there. Because Illinois isn't actually the poorest freaking state. I'm going to go over to California. Sorry about the clicking. Um, that is just a part of the game. I'm going to get my national thing up. Oh, she knocked something. I didn't even read it. Dang it. Uh, let's go ahead and fundraise here because we are a little bit low on the funds. There we go. We'll build up our HQ there. Fundraise again. Get an operative. Can't yet. Dang it. I want to put an Intimidator here. I want to create an ad here. Let's do that. Addressing addressing the climate change, legalization of marijuana, securing the borders. That's always a big one. I will secure your borders. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of speeches here. Donald Trump is very good at them, but I don't want them to be in the way. Sorry, that there. See if we can actually get a little bit over here in California. But I'm going to want to hit the southern states of the country, of course. What that would do. Modifies opponent's political score on all issues by 24... Jeez. Oh, so Louisiana is now going to be tough. This thing. Yeah. They actually added that? That's that's cool. I didn't know they could do that. Go ahead and give a speech here. Bathroom bill. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay. I oppose the... What's the bathroom bill? The bathroom bill is the thing about um, transgender people being able to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it out. I got it. I took a little bit. Let's give another speech about fighting ISIS, of course. The people love hearing that speech. Jesus, do they ever. Soon, we're going to be able to get our VP candidates. Oh, man, Hillary is coming back in this election. Jesus Christ. So it's Battleground State here. It looks like 4646 over in California. Ooh, look at us. We're doing something. We got nine. We need 13. Let's give a speech here. I favor coal mining. Oh, dang it. It's, uh, again, giving speeches in highly contested areas are not going to be that simple to do. Let's go ahead and build a campaign headquarters here. They are poor, but it doesn't matter. I favor fighting them ISISs. Them dang terrorist asses. There we go. So I can uh, fly over to Pennsylvania here in a minute. Get my intimidator. Ooh, man. See, Hillary's going to be a difficult opponent. She is doing some stuff for her. But it's fine. We'll go talk on 60 seconds. Tonight, our reporters go undercover to investigate the steady underbelly of the office supply retailers. Do you know what your staplers are coming from? I am Leslie Danger, the story on 60 Seconds. Some ranchers and landowners in the West have long complained about the government policies and regulations which restrict land use. In some cases, this has led to protests and threats of violence. How would you respond to something like this? Send in the troops. Let's occupy their homes. We need to listen to these protesters. So I think this is on farm subsidies. It's domestic terrorism, plain and simple, and we don't negotiate with terrorists. If we use force against us, well, we got a lot more against us coming against them. It's 
occupy their homes. So these protesters are all holed up in their protests. So I don't know. Peacefully refuse their demands. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. I was gonna say this one's a weird one, so I couldn't really answer. That. Obamacare. Yes, this one's a gay one. Obamacare is a contentious ever since it's been introduced. What's your stance on the health care reform? We have to repeal Obamacare. It is not the role of the federal government to make a health care decision for an individual. Obamacare's requirement for people to purchase insurance, even if they don't want to, is a massive and unfair intrusion. If elected, I would work tirelessly to repeal Obamacare. That's it for tonight. Tune in next week for our special one-hour report on insect infestations in the American households. Goodbye. So we did very well overall, which is good. That's what we needed. Good. That will help us out. We're doing very well up in the Northeast, which is killing Hillary Clinton. Oh, we're actually above her in California because we have an intimidator there and she does not. So we need to fly down to New York. In New York! I favor a strong military. Dang it. Usually if you work on one of those lower ones, you actually will bump up because they're not even really worried about it. Ah, the running mates. Yes, of course. I know about all this. Yes! So, you know, a lot of you probably want to know who we're going to choose for our vice president. We're actually going to do what... Donald Trump has decided to do, and that's pick Indiana Governor Mike Pence. So that will be very, very exciting to do. Uh, of course, you have all the other ones, you know. Where is him? Is he here? Hang on, I'm trying to find. He, I don't. Think, Gary Johnson is here. He is actually a, a potential third party running mate, uh, third party runner for president. So that's actually. Exciting, but I wouldn't really say terrifying. Donald Trump and Mike Pence basically got it. So we're going to pick Mike Pence. He's from Indiana. So, of course, we're going to start winning that bastard. Texas is a battleground state. That is not happening. You're staying with us. We need to send some support over to Florida. We haven't worked a lot over here in Florida, it looks like. So what do we want to do? I want to get a spin doctor over here. I'm going to give a speech about fighting them ISISs. There we go. We got up 1%, which is good. Let's go ahead and make an ad about how my opponent opposes Social Security. It's going to go ahead and slam her on that one. See if that changes the view. Trump brings his public ratings back from the depth. What? I wasn't losing. The heck? How are we doing over in California? 44-49, so we are winning California as of right now. Let's go ahead and win that endorsement there. Yeah, I'm going to get a spin doctor here. And then I'm going to create another ad about how my opponent doesn't want to fight ISIS. So I'm going to just slam her with a few ads. I'm going to go up to, I think, what is this, New Hampshire? Vermont, dang it. And I got a rich donor, so I got my money back, which is good. What's next? Let's go ahead and build an HQ here, campaign headquarters. Why the fuck not, right? Let's go ahead and create a television ad about gun rights. That's a good one. That'll hit the heart of the voters. Ooh, man, she is on fire. She's trying. She is definitely giving it her all. Yeah, I was going to say, trying to give speeches is not the smartest idea. Um, My opponent doesn't want to secure the borders. Isn't that sad? Isn't that tragic? We should stop that. We should definitely stop that. Let's fly down over to Florida again because I want to work a little bit more on Florida. I really need to get another consulting office for fuck's sake and actually build it up. So I think that's what I'm going to do right here is get a consulting office and just build it up to the best of my ability. So 50 48 now. So we're close. Can't get an intimidated just yet, but that's fine. What are we? 46, 48. Oh, God. This is getting a lot more difficult. I'm actually surprised that Hillary's putting up so much of a fight. Of course she would choose her freaking husband. That's actually illegal. What other illegal stuff have you done, you bastard? Mm, picking your damn husband to run with you. That's illegal. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to freaking beat you now. If we lose, it's all because of Bill. 
dang dude anyway. Let's create another ad about NASA. Because nobody funds NASA anymore. Jesus. How are we doing in New York? 5046, so she's supposed to win New York. 5247, two on Pennsylvania. We have to win these states. Texas, 4752. Why is Texas, of all freaking people, trying to run? She's beating me in California now, too. Dang it. How? Oh, because she has that little... That woman. I see you. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and fundraise a little bit here in Florida. Take a day to just fundraise. I favor the war on terror. There we go. So we're starting to beat her now. Get that intimidator here, and then let's fly over. Give another speech on the old Mally scenario. Of course, he usually what he says. Our president has let ISIS grow into a monster. What would you do to fix this mess? Defeat ISIS with our international allies. I'll put a stop to them. Our so-called president has been too soft. Terrorists respect force. It's only thing their culture understands. So when I'm president, they'll see force. I'll put a stop to ISIS. Yeah, do that. The border of Mexico is in absolute chaos. Millions of illegals are already in the United States and more poor in all the time. What would you as president do about it? Reinforce the border patrol. I put the military... Yeah. Yeah. Let's say that. Pretty decent. Not that bad. Not that bad. Could have been better. But of course, O'Malley's a. Uh, it's difficult in the O'Malley scenario. So she's only down by a percent. But the electoral vote right now, if we were to take polls, she would win a lot of key states that I do need. So we're working over there. Let's go back to Pennsylvania. I'm in a fundraise. Okay. Jesus. She just did something. Must have. Let's create a TV ad about coal mining. That'll get the heart of some of the viewers up. Jesus. We need to get an intimidator here. Do we have somewhere that we haven't? Yeah, let's go down here. Let's build up an consulting office. We're going to need, it looks like, a lot more of those than I freaking thought we would. 48, 48. Ooh, boy. It's getting down to the wire. 34 to 52. Jesus, we might actually be close to ending this sucker here. Oh, god dang it. She's winning over here. My opponent opposes securing. Dang it. I don't even have the money to do that. Oh, she's attacking me. God. <laughs> You're putting up a fight, Hillary, and I don't like it. You're putting up a fight. I want to see Donald get into the White House, but it's getting a little harder than I thought. I need money. Let's go around. We'll fly back over to Pennsylvania. I need to work very tirely on New York, Pennsylvania, and other things like that. So we'll put in another Intimidator over here, you bastard. Yes, I do know that. New York, what is wrong with you? Do you know that my opponent doesn't support Israel? That's terrible. It's terrible work. Of course, she doesn't want to do anything about the fucking climate change. So, that sucks. Of course, I'll steal a little bit of money off you, too. Yeah, there we go. Now I have some more of these beautiful things. I don't think I'm going to be able to attack that. How are we doing in Texas? She's still pretty decent in Texas. It doesn't make any freaking sense. She's still pretty good over here in Texas. What are we at? 49, 40. Jeez. How is she doing better right now? How are we over in Pennsylvania? 51, 47. Is it going down any? I freaking hope. Yes, we need an intimidator over in New York. Hello, Pennsylvania. I oppose reducing the wealth cap. Dang it. 5147, it's not going down. And I have two intimidators in here. What is happening? What are you doing over here in Florida? You're really trying over there, aren't you? You bitch. Let's go ahead and go down to Colorado. Send Mike Pence to say, hey, what's up, man? I'm Mike Pence. I'm trying to get your beautiful leader in office. Hello, you. What are you doing? 
Hmm? Doing absolute shit. That's what you're doing. Come under me, you dang shuckers. Candidate Trump drops in popularity just by 3%. Ooh, man. It's already getting close to cutting the episode. I favor that bathroom bill, though. Bet you wouldn't say that on live television. Hmm? Bet you wouldn't. Dang it. I need a spin doctor. That's what I need. I get a spin doctor over here. That help out? <laughs> Not at all. Jesus Christ. Not at all. Why is Texas? Man, I really didn't think Texas was going to give me that much of a trouble. But this is going to be the end of this Political Machine 2016 video. We've chosen our running mate. We have 12 weeks to turn it around. 12 weeks. We got Democrats all across the damn board. Even in Nebraska. We need to fix that. We need to get some of these, you know, central states to us. You know, we've been fighting tedious. We've been fighting hard. But if we don't get, you know, number one, if we don't get the states that freaking matter, of course, we're trying hard. I mean, Texas is going to fold under me whether they like it or not. Believe in it. 51, you know, New York probably is not going to go back. I don't think New York is actually going to be one that we could probably get. It would be... I'm surprised that we're not going to be able to get New York. You do have a lot of liberals that live up in New York, so I can't say that I'm surprised, but I can't say I'm a little disappointed because of Jesus. Uh, West Virginia, 50-45, 49-46. So a lot of these states are kind of on the brink. They would vote me in, but just barely vote me in. And I have to make sure that electorally we're going to win. And without Pennsylvania, if we look at our strategy, we're actually, our strategy is still on the money at the moment. At the moment. 275-263. So if Nebraska went, we'd be 270-268. So that's still okay. We're still technically all right, but we do have a lot of these states over here that if we look at the map, they're voting me, you know, so we could still turn around and win this. It just depends really on where the fuck Florida goes, where Ohio goes, and Ohio right now is still saying me, and where Indiana is going to go. And of course, Colorado, it's at 46-46, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to win that. Uh, and if we lose Arizona, we lose the election. New Mexico is actually going my way, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So if New Mexico goes my way, but we lose Arizona, we still lose. But if we get Nebraska, it'll be 269, 269. So we have to make sure, number one, that we get Nebraska on our side. And we could try to fight for, like, Missouri or Iowa, you know, if we got Iowa on our side and Nebraska on our side. But we lost Arizona, we'd still win the election. So we're still in the money. You know, we're still we're still good. And of course we got Massachusetts that's really close. We got Maine that's going my way. You know, if we put in the states that are voting my way right now, even if we are to lose these two states and Arizona and Nebraska, we're still gonna win. By that alone. By that one target alone and right now it's saying that all of those are going to go my way anyway not massachusetts but all the ones i've selected are going to go my way so i still do think that we do have a pretty decent shot in 12 weeks though a lot of shit could change so we really have to fight hard we do not have anything for funds right now so the next time we get on we're definitely going to have to fund 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 but i think I think we can still pull this out. We can still pull out a victory. Hillary Clinton, I told you, is a very difficult opponent, and it's going to be really difficult to face her. And again, 12 weeks, it's going to be hard. Our polls, 218 to 320 is saying on the electoral vote scale. I seriously doubt that. Seriously doubt that. Of course, Oregon's going her way. Arizona's going her way. Colorado is a 50-50 shot. You know, South Dakota is going my way just barely. Got Arkansas that's going my way just barely. Louisiana that's going my way just barely. And of course, we have 
North Carolina, that's a 15er that I actually didn't switch that way. So if we do, you know, not if we get Nebraska, she'll still win. If we get Missouri, we'll win. So we have to work in, I think it's what, North Carolina? What is this? Yeah, North Carolina. So we got to work over here in North Carolina. We need to beat the dick out of her here. Uh, we could work a little bit in Maryland and maybe New Jersey. Uh, that would be a probably pretty smart idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move Mike Pence over to Indiana. Because, I mean, seeing their governor in Indiana is going to make all the difference. Um, and, of course, Florida, 49-49, you really have no idea which way Florida could, do, could go. If we lose Florida, we're screwed. But until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. Do the multiplayer one. Let's uh, take the Clinton one and see if we do that. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Clinton will see you guys in the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.